Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today we are going to be taking a look at my new favorite multi-tool. Let's take a look. So all of these are tools that I either carry, have carried, or just kind of rotate through. This one actually usually lives in my hiking bag. This is the Ganzo, and I don't think it's available anymore. It's the G22B. I really like this multi-tool. It's got a good loadout for hiking with a lot of different tools. It also has a dedicated spot to stick a an adapter so you can turn it into a driver, which, you know, I don't do too much when I'm hiking, but it's nice if I have this in my tool bag or a go bag to still have that option. So a good beater. This one also doesn't lock, which is on purpose because depending on where I'm going, hiking or camping, some states and places have some very specific rules and laws about locking blade. So kind of covers my bases. The Gerber Suspension NXT. I actually did a video on this and, uh, you know, I kind of bashed this thing a little bit. That being said, I still actually really like this tool. This was uh, my primary carry for a long time. I carried a lot of beaters before I really looked into what a multi-tool versus like a Swiss Army knife could offer. And after a lot of research settled on this guy and you really can't go wrong with it. There are a few things uh, I'll drop the link to the other video somewhere here um, where I took a little closer look at it. One thing I did fail to mention, and I wish I had though, is that this driver here and this little bit kit, you can, I mean, it comes with a lot of different multi-tools or you can get them by themselves, but you can put a little adapter on here and turn this into an actual driver, which isn't terrible. I wouldn't put a lot of torque on it. It's Part of the reason I switched away from this tool was I really wanted something with a good, dedicated driver. So after a while, I came to... Hold on. You got to put away your tools. You can't leave a mess while you're working. Uh, the Multiforce. Now, this is the Walmart Ozark Trail one. This is pretty popular. Bryberry offers a really good one. Mossy Oak does one. A lot of companies are doing it because it's the Leatherman Wave, essentially, the patent or the... It went public domain, whatever it is, they're allowed to make clones. The reason I really like this one, even over the Leatherman, and I'm not going to go into super huge depth about it. You can find hours of videos comparing this to the different clones of this and the Leatherman. But for me personally, it comes down to the driver. It has a dedicated quarter inch drive, which, uh, like I said, for me personally, was a big deal for a long time just because of what I found myself doing a lot to be able to have something really solid, being able to swap in and out of this, just made this a really good tool for me. And I actually still carry this a lot when I'm gonna be doing stuff uh, around the house or on the family farm, just because it is so solid and heavy duty and versatile. That being said, after carrying this <clears throat> for a while as my primary, I'm really thinking about how heavy it was, finally came across this and I love this tool. The SOG PowerPoint has a great little loadout. It's got a lot of tools. That being said, they're all pretty small, but the fact that it is this small and can hold a bit is fantastic. And when you com combine something like this, this is the Leatherman Ratchet Drive, go buy this tool. If you have a toolkit or an EDC thing, go buy this. It's worth every penny. Absolutely. I don't care what other reviews say. I love this. So you combo that with something like this. And I mean, I've got a four inch driver here, which is pretty great. So this has been just a fantastic tool, but I have, uh, for the last f about four months now, got a promotion at work. And what it means is that I'm at my desk a lot more than I am hands on. So my tool set needs have really changed. Now that doesn't mean that I don't still carry this and use it in some form. But in looking around, trying to figure out, you know, if this is going to go in my bag, why is it in my bag? If it's in my pocket, am I really utilizing it? Or what can I get or carry or use that really is going to do better for my needs now? That's what EDC is about. Your everyday carry fits your needs. That being said, obviously, there's emergencies. There's other things. Like I said, I carry the multi-force when I know I'm going to be doing more you know, the honeydew list, the chores, or the just kind of the handyman stuff. But 
After looking around a lot, I finally kind of bit down and picked up one of these. These are not a new idea. Uh, Gerber Armbar has been doing these types of tools for a while, and it's, like the name implies, essentially a single bar driver. Now, this is not an armbar. This is the Tactiman, which is, in fact, just as generic and much as, as much a clone as any of any other of the Chinese knockoffs that you're going to find online. This thing's 20 bucks, but after really considering my needs, a tool like this, I think, is probably overlooked a lot. It's looked at as, well, half a multi-tool at half the price, but it's something absolutely to consider. Now, like I said, this is the Tactman. There are a couple other really good brands Actually, check out, and I'll have uh, I'll link him down below. But HVAC Budget did a has done a couple cool videos about these, and he did a really cool video about buying one of these versus customizing. Because the nice thing is, since these are all essentially just knockoffs and clones of each other, it is not that hard once you look into it to swap tools from different what uh, clones of these to each other. Now, this one I chose specifically for this loadout. One is the blade. It's a pretty good blade on this. You can see it's just about three inches. 440A steel, so you know it's not D2, it's not anything crazy, but that's a good uh, rust-resistant, sharp blade. This will take an edge, this will keep an edge, and it's easily deployable. The other tool for me personally, like I said, has really been changing, is scissors. Uh, now, if you do pick one of these up, by the way, some of them pop out and lock, but a lot of them work a little differently where you can't just deploy it like this and push it. You have to push out the scissors and then it locks. Now, that's the thing. Scissors, I think, are overlooked in a lot of EDC. It, it, to me, scissors are kind of, unless you carry scissors, scissors are seen as, oh, these are pretty good for what they are, but these are actual good scissors. Again, you can find hours of video comparing scissors on different multi-tools, and it's always been a tool I like to have, but when you look at the history of scissors and what companies do with different scissors and the focus they have on them, honestly, scissors are just kind of put on because they fit and because that way you can say that you have scissors on your multi-tool. But I am willing to bet that the best scissors out there that anyone will always come back to are these. Now, this is a knockoff of the Victronox, the SD, the Classic. But here's the thing, is whenever I talk to people about scissors, this is still one of the most used pairs of scissors, I think, in the world by any EDCer, is this little thing. And what's crazy is when you look at it, it's really not that much smaller than any other of these companies do and it works better so you know scissors are i think overlooked but on a tool like this where it's a primary and where it's given focus it's locked it's a like you said primary tool and i am able to just absolutely cut through anything whether it's cordage or zip ties when a lot of these scissors struggle just to get through a piece of paper. If you're looking for a good pair of scissors on a multi-tool, I mean, these things kick ass. The other three tools, I picked this one for a specific reason. One, it does have a glass breaker, or if it's held properly and used properly, can be used for a bit of self-defense, but primarily a survival tool in an emergency. I chose this one because of the other tools on it. That would be there we go, a serrated blade, a saw, and this little multi-tool. Now, the reason I chose these is because I, I like this for even just maybe a light hike. I wouldn't rely on this on a primary. I would still more than likely carry an actual knife, a tool with a little heavier loadout on it. However, a serrated blade, a saw, and this multi-tool, for me personally and my kind of EDC needs or wants, this is a perfect mix for me. What I really like is all of these tools on the back lock. They have the little detent on them to lock really well. And this is can opener, bottle opener, 
pretty basic on that, but the fact that it locks is really nice. This saw and this serrated blade have just awesome length to them. So that's the thing is, even though this tool is pretty big comparatively, it still feels pretty small while still delivering, I mean, just awesome length and awesome abilities on, well, literally half a tool. But then again, if I look into something like, uh, I believe it's the Sunbird or some of these other uh, next tool, for example, because these are so similar, being able to swap tools is actually something I might look into the longer I use this. So what I'm saying is these things at 20 bucks, 22 bucks are absolutely worth picking up. If you want to slim down, if you're thinking of a light carry, maybe you're just thinking of something to throw into an EDC or tool bag or have as a backup. Something like this is absolutely a good option. So I appreciate you spending your time with me. And as always, stay safe, be prepared, and have a great day.